Hi, this is Shark93 from lovesoldiers.org. In this video, I will show you how to download and install the TeamSpeak 3 client, how to configure it and uh, connect to our voice server. So the first thing you want to do is go to the TeamSpeak download page. The link will be in the description. Then you want to scroll down and pick the correct architecture of your system. If you don't know what your system architecture is, you can search for the control panel and then you click on system or if you have a category view you go to system and security and click on system. In this window here in system type you can see that it is a 64-bit operating system. So after you pick the correct installer you download it and you click to launch the installer. At first it will probably ask you to run the executable or not, so press run. Then it will unpack the installer files and then the installation will begin. Click next, scroll down to the bottom of the license agreement in order to accept it, then click next, click next again, leave the default destination folder and press next, leave the recommended settings and press next. Make sure to uncheck the Overwolf uh, checkbox and click install. The program will install and it will also install the requirements needed for it to run. Just wait and the installation will finish. Click finish and the TeamSpeak client will open. On the first run, it will ask us to accept the license agreement again. So scroll to the bottom and press I accept then it is uh, going to ask us to create a My TeamSpeak account, which is not needed for the application to run. So click Continue and then Continue without logging in. Then it is going to ask us to choose a nickname. So I will type Shark93. This is the end of the first run of the software. What you wanted to do next is to go to the tools and open the options. In the options menu, the most important menus are playback, capture, and hotkeys. In the playback menu, you can leave everything default and it is uh, most likely okay. What you want to do is go to the capture profile and here you can see that voice activation is enabled by default. So if you want to push to talk, you have to select this option pick a hotkey, for example F9, and then press apply. Then you want to go to the hotkeys and set up additional hotkeys, for example one for mute microphone and for mute uh, speakers, which are these two buttons above. So you click add, you search for the action mute, double click on toggle microphone mute. I usually go with F7, click OK. Then add again, we're going to search for mute, toggle speaker mute, double click. And I usually go with F8 and click OK. In these three menus, you can also specify additional profiles which uh, contain uh, different options because TeamSpeak allows you to switch a capture profile or a playback profile on the fly in order to have a different setup, for example. I usually go with the voice activation by default, but for example, let's say I have a game where I want to use push to talk and I don't want to go into the options every time to change my default settings. What I will do is to add an additional profile. I will give it a name, for example, the game that I want uh, to use this profile with. Click OK, select it, and then you can tweak the options as you like and press apply. The next uh, thing that we're going to cover is how to connect to a TeamSpeak server. The first time you want to click connections and then connect. You are going to have this window where you are going to input the address of the server. For us is voice.loss-soldiers.org. Then here in the nickname, you want to write your nickname again. And then if you click more, you will have uh, um, some additional options that you can configure. For example, your phonetic name in case 
your nickname has special characters, uh, this helps. You can also specify a different uh, profile for these options in case you have a set up uh, additional ones and then you just click connect. Connected. By default you will land on our welcome lobby which is muted. Notice this uh, uh, microphone muted sound here. So if you wanted to talk to others you must switch to another channel. Channel switched. Here in this channel you can talk. And uh, another feature that uh, TeamSpeak has enabled by default is that it will warn you if you are talking while your microphone is muted. For example, let's mute the microphone and microphone talk muted. a little bit. So the first time it is going to explain what the feature does, it will beep, as you can hear, when you talk and you can keep it enabled or disable it. If you want to enable it again at a later time, go to Tools, Options, application and here you have the checkbox for this option. Another option that personally I like to enable is inside the design and it is display country flag on clients and what this does is it puts a little country flag next to each person that is connected to the server. Another important information is the bookmarks menu. When you are connected to a server you can bookmark it. Just go to bookmarks Add to bookmark and the server will be added to your bookmark list. If you click go to advanced you can add some additional information like your phonetic name in case you didn't um, set it up earlier. You can also specify capture or playback hotkey profiles in case you have many for this specific bookmark. You can also select a specific bookmark to be used to connect on startup when the TeamSpeak client is started. So how do you uh, disconnect from a server? By default, when you close the application, you will be disconnected from the server and the TeamSpeak client will close. If you just want to disconnect, go to connections and click disconnect from current. And the application will still run. So, for example, let's use the bookmarks menu to connect to the Lost Soldier server. Connected. If you want to modify how the minimize and how the close buttons work, and you want to modify their default behavior, go to Tools, Options. Always in the Design menu, you go to the Tray icon submenu, and you can toggle these two checkboxes Minimize the Tray and Close to Tray. What these options do is that if you click the minimize button, the taskbar icon will disappear and you can bring up the interface again by double clicking in the system tray. And also if you close the application, you will not be disconnected. The only thing that's going to happen is the interface will, uh, the graphical interface will be killed, but the app will still run in the system tray and you can bring it up with a double click. So if you want to set it up like this, to disconnect it to the server, you have to go to connections and then press quit. Disconnected. So this marks the end of the tutorial. If you want to um, have additional information about the settings, I suggest you visit this additional web page that I will be linking in the video description, which has a bunch of useful articles that you can read if you want to uh, know more about the settings. And if you are still confused, you can post a question in the thread where this video is posted. I hope that the tutorial was helpful to you and I hope to see you on the server. Thanks and bye-bye.